Hi y'all, this is Jeannie from Jean Home Decor and More. If you are new, welcome, welcome. If you have come back to see me, I really appreciate you guys all stopping by to check me out to see what I'm up to for the holidays. So what I have decided to um, share with you guys is a table setting that I have in my kitchen nook. Um, pretty much everything on this table are items that I have had from the past. The only two new items that I have is this cute little tray here where you can put uh, pickles, cheese, you know, just, just different little things in here. And I have a, a shrimp perhaps, and then I have a little um, pick that you, that's a Christmas pick that you can pick up your shrimp or your pickles. And then I have a, um, a snowman cheese spreader. I have him there, that's, so that's new. I thought that was really cute. And then the only other thing new that I have is I mentioned in a previous video that I needed some new Christmas napkin rings and I got these from Hobby Lobby. They were $2.99 with 60% off. Um, I thought that was a really good buy. And as I've mentioned to you guys before, uh, Hobby Lobby is unsurpassed when it comes to quality and the sale prices that they have on their seasonal items, as well as items for your home for all year. So kind of going around, the chargers, you know, I kind of use these, they just kind of transition perhaps from my kitchen to my dining room. Um, these plates are our everyday plates. So I had those, the stemware um, was passed down to me from my mom as well as the candle holders and the sterling silver salt, salt and pepper shakers. So um, as you can see, everything I have here on this table, I've had for quite some time. The point set is I've had those for so long. They're gray and white. I thought they were really pretty. The gray ones have a little bit of gold trim around the edge. And the olive branches, I got those like last year, maybe the year before from Hobby Lobby. I don't know how much they were, but you know, they probably were, I know I'm sure they were on sale. But anyway, I like the, um, the crystal candle holders and the, uh, uh, the glasses, the stemware. I really like those. Now, <clears throat> I do have plastic cutlery because the idea is if you want to host, you can still set up a really nice tablescape or table setting and you can use items that make it easy for you as a host. So, you know, you put your dishes in your dishwasher when you're, you know, when your company is all done, you know, with eating and everything. And then you're, you know, you don't have to worry about cutlery. You can just pitch it. So that, that's the whole idea of this is to, you know, we want to think about, you know, what's elegant and what's alluring, what looks nice, but you also want to save on yourself. So that's the whole purpose, you know, of this. So pretty much I just wanted to come and show you um, my kitchen table setting. And you know, this is a, we're a functional family. So do, will my kitchen setting, ta my table setting stay like this? Uh, no, it will not. Because you know, I have other people here. I have a daughter, my husband, and you know, her, her granddaughter, her, my granddaughters, they come by. Uh, my daughter's daughters, they all come by. So I don't keep this on a table. This is just to give you guys um, some inspiration, you know, of what you can um, do, you know, with the table setting. You know, so I didn't really buy anything new, any, nothing expensive. So the thing about it is we just have to shop our home, go down in your basement or your storage area, dig those totes out, and get to creating, see what you can come up with. But this is just a little inspiration. I also put on a little snow globe because I love snow globes. So I also have that on the table as well. But I thought this was very simple and elegant. Why I chose this particular, uh, why I chose these particular uh, colors with the, um, with the poinsettias and the napkins, I, at first I started to go with red. But then when I'm looking at my walls, as you can see behind, I didn't think that red comp was complimentary. It seemed like it clashed with the wall. So 
Having said that, I wanted to use um, colors that kind of, uh, you know, kind of complemented the colors of the wall as well. I mean, I don't know if other people do that, but that's that's what I do. I just kind of like that. I kind of like the colors to um, blend um, or kind of complement one another um, if, if, if you get my drift. So in any event, this is what I've done. I'm going to attach a video to this one to show you how I folded up these table napkins. Again, it's, it's not original. It's not a new idea. You know, as I've said before, they say the saying goes, there are little, if any, original ideas. Very little, if any, original ideas. So, you know, I just wanted to, um, you know, show you how I do this. So stay tuned for that. It'll come right after this video. So I look, I hope you guys like it. Like I said, I think it's simple and elegant. And let me know, let me know what you think. Please like, comment, and su subscribe. Today is Tuesday, and I hope you guys are having an amazing day. It's, it's, as you can see outside, it's pretty gloomy. It's pretty gloomy, so I thought this might be a good day to do this. Okay, you guys have a great day. Bye-bye. Hi, guys. Okay, so I said I'm coming back to show you how I folded up this napkin. I hope this is a good angle to show you. So basically, what I'm doing is I'm not, instead of me folding my napkin in half, just like this, what I'm gonna do is look, I'm folding it on an angle. I'm folding it up on an angle. So let me see if I can show you like that. So you just kind of fold this piece up, do it again, this piece up on an angle, okay? So now look, check this out. I take my napkin ring to pull a piece through here. And look at that. You know, so you just shape it up. Easy peasy, okay? Very decorative, easy peasy. Okay, that's it. Bye-bye.